have a God who never fail. He will never fail. And Jesus never fail forevermore. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. He will never fail. And he has never failed forever. Hallelujah. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. Who never fail. He will never fail forevermore. We have a God who never fail. I mean, we have check YouTube. I get you. I get you. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. He will never fail, and he has never failed forevermore. Amen. Jesus never failed. Amen. Jesus never failed. Amen. Jesus never failed. He has never failed, and he will never fail. Forevermore. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. Jesus never fail. He has never fail. And he will never fail. Forevermore. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. Jesus never fail. He has never fail. And he will never fail. Forevermore. Hallelujah. Jesus never fail. Hallelujah. Jesus never fail. Hallelujah. Jesus never fail. He has never fail. And he will never fail. Forevermore. Kill us up. Okay. When you are one for big, okay, try to tell you about YouTube. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. Jesus never fail. He has never fail. And he will never fail. Forevermore. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everyone, welcome to today's service. Welcome to Close up. I can take the YouTube. I will continue live. Go and go. Oh, the live will be. What's 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 live? Live will be. Okay. More with the traffic, if you load. Okay. What's the live? Okay. 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 You are welcome, 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 everyone. Welcome to the live broadcast of this. Ask questions, receive answers, and pray. It is standing on the tripod. Let us know what you are passing through. You will receive practical counsel and direction, and then we turn it into prayer. We serve a God that answers prayers. Everyone's prayers shall be answered today. As we get ready to exit August, God shall yet bless you. Whatever you have remaining to draw for you in this outgoing month shall drop. Oh yes, I say shall drop. 
before tomorrow's night, you will be rejoicing with a new blessing. The Lord will open fresh doors for you. You will end this month well, and you will enter the new month strong in the name of Jesus. Whatever is giving you pain and burdening your heart, whatever is making you regret, creating you fear and anxiety, shall be turned into testimonies. I see celebration around someone. I see congratulatory messages pouring down for you as you end this month. August will not end until your miracles are fully delivered, until your pains are removed and your fears and doubts are removed. Say amen, I receive it. Say amen, I receive it. The Lord bless you and bless everything and everyone connected to you. The glory of God will change your story. The presence of God will urge you on. I prophesy divine speed. I prophesy acceleration towards your destined position. God Almighty will remove the hand, any negative hand that is troubling your life. Whatever delay anyone is experiencing, I prophesy against delay. I say your delays are over. Your delays are over. In all areas of life, young lady, your delays is over. And the Lord will order the steps of your God-ordained spouse to locate you. Young man, the Lord will open your eyes to see your bone of bone and your flesh of flesh. Married people trusting God for conception. As we exit this old month, you are taken in, you are taken in, you are conceiving in September. The Lord will remove that blockage. I speak to that man with erectile dysfunction. The Lord is correcting that too. Everyone connected today, whatever is calling for correction in your life shall be divinely corrected. God Almighty shall get the glory. You shall be blessed. You shall be helped. You shall be assisted. September, we have called it September to remember. God will do heroic things, monumental breakthrough. You will remember the rest of your life. Type Amen, 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 and share. Amen, 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 three times and share. And share it three times. Amen, 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 share. Amen, 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 share. Amen, 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 share. As you do that, you are inviting more people to this platform. I want us to run a very high traffic today. So let God use you to bring more people. Everyone, like me, comment, and share. Say something. Say amen, 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 and share and let the power of God work things out for you. Oh, it shall be great. It shall be wonderful today as we begin to look into issues that are coming and we bring guidance and bring counsel, practical counsel, applicable to life counsel. And then we generate prayer from those issues and we turn it into a prayer hall. As we pray today, as our prayers goes up, answers will come down. Prayers go up, answers will come down. It shall be instant answer, instant turn around. You will celebrate in Jesus' name. Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to, to tonight's broadcast. It is going to be great today. Jesus Christ is already here. Holy Ghost is already here. It is going to be great today. Jesus Christ is already here. Holy Ghost is already here. It's going to be great today. Jesus Christ is already here. Holy Ghost is already here. Everybody, please get ready. It will be great. God Almighty will do something wonderful, something powerful something that will give you joy and you will be happy you are a part of this family please type your name the city and the country where you are joining us from type your name the city and the country i'm already seeing name joy buki from abraca delta on youtube you are welcome sailor engineering amen 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 let me know where you are joining us from and that is on youtube on Facebook, I see Tundun Faluyi. 
Amen, amen, amen. Tundu, can I know where you are joining us from? As you will share every one of you on uh, Instagram, let's know where you are calling us from on YouTube, on Instagram, and on TikTok. Yes, I can see Help Ziba Ibadon on TikTok. You are welcome. Joy uh, on Facebook. You are welcome. Cecilia Abosedi Saka is going to be great today. Oh, you are singing that song with me. That's good. It will be great today. Every one of you keep sharing. I can see Facebook growing, growing rapidly. All, all of us on Facebook, you are doing well. YouTube, you need to come up. Everyone on YouTube, please come up. Share, 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 and let more people join this train. Is a train taking us to somewhere, taking us to divine manifestation. Obemudia Joy, good evening, Daddy. Joy, where are you greeting me from? You forgot to type the city and the state. Please do so. Abumbi Perpetua. He says, from where? From Bermuda, Cameroon. God bless you all the way from ba Bamenda. Okay, the correct word is Bamenda. Cameroon, you are welcome. All over the nation, all over the world. Dupe Fawale Ibadan. I love my daddy. I love you. I love you, man. God bless you. Is he our Fawale? God bless you. I love you. I love you. Everyone, keep keep sharing. Type your name, the city, and the country where you are joining us from. And if you are watching this for the first time today. If today is your first experience of this live broadcast with Femi Emmanuel that comes on Mondays and Fridays, let us know. Just type, I am a first timer. I'm watching for the first time. And then God bless you. And all of us, TPGF, anyone that indicates is watching for the first time on your network, help us to greet the person. Tell them, type their name back to them and say you are welcome. Greet them in a way that they will feel belong. God bless you. God bless you. Henry Kwame from Lagos. Sela Oyesor joining from Shasha, Lagos. Okay. Ah, Ubemudi Ajoy said he's from France, daddy. I'm from France, daddy. France. Wow. This is a global family. God bless you. All the way from France, or Latin Day, more grace. God bless you. Can I see more people? Okay, or more women at DBC on Facebook say I am a first, I'm first timer. Please, or TPGF on Facebook, please greet uh or more women and let or more women feel belong. Every one of you join us, join us, join us, and let us know where you are joining us from. Ola BC Adeyemi Taiwo. God bless you on Facebook. All right, we are getting set to hit the ground and begin to take the issues before us today for discussion, for clarification, for education, and then for prayers. So education and prayers. Type in your testimonies as well. What changes have you seen? In what area has God intervened in all our other platforms? The prayer mountain on Thursdays in the two services. The daily devotion, turning point every morning and all the prophetic actions. All the prayers. The Sunday services in two services. And of course, this live broadcast. Tell us what changes you have seen, what expansion, what enlargement, what divine intervention. Type it out. Type it and share. Your testimony is a prophecy for somebody else. Your testimony is a provoke faith in somebody's heart to believe God for his own miracle. Esther Ojabulu, I love you. Esther is watching from Lagos. Esther, you are a regular one. God bless all regulars. Please, as you join this family, be regular. Be consistent. Mondays, 8 to 9 p.m. Nigerian time. And Friday, such as today, 8 to 9 p.m. Nigeria time. Be consistent. I know you can watch later. You can watch live and watch later. But anytime it is possible for you to watch live, watch live. 
and if not, watch later. But don't miss any of the editions and rebroadcast it to all of your people. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Okay. We are going to hit the ground running. We already have issues here from previous edition. But type in your own questions today. Don't suffer in silence. Don't suffer alone. I welcome all our Turning Point TV audience as well. This is a special broadcast to all on our social media platforms, but recorded for you too. You can also pray our prayers. You can write in your own questions and situations through the numbers on the screen. You shall be prayed for and you shall receive answers. So welcome, welcome, welcome to our television audience. The Lord bless you. Wow. Let's start. And please know that you can also make contributions. You can make contributions. Daddy, what should I do to facilitate my getting married soon? I am a single mother. Oh, I'm going to pray for all single mothers today and all old enough to marry but yet to find a suitor. If that is the area of delay, God is going to remove that delay. You are old enough to marry, age is not on your side, or you've been married before but wrongly, or you are a single mother. Whatever it is, God has a plan for you. So my answer to you, my dear daughter, is that God has a plan for you. A single mother. We don't know what made you turn you into single motherhood. Uh, but whatever it is, God has a plan for you. If it was child out of wedlock, if it was a runaway husband, or you didn't say you are a, a widow, you are a single mother. Whatever make you a single mother, we may not know. But one thing we know very well is that God has plans for you. Every one of you in this situation or similar situation, parents with daughters old enough to marry, but sisters not showing up, I want to pray for you. That yoke will be broken. And whatever evil veil, our last Thursday prayer mountain, we are prophesying against evil veil. There are destinies that are veiled up. And when a destiny is veiled up, is covered up, correct eye will not see. People see, they won't notice. All such evil veils on everyone that is making your God ordained suitor not to come. Your daughter's God ordained suitor. Your sister's God ordained suitor. I break that yoke now. I break that yoke now. Everything that covered up your beauty, your glory, I will not make the right person to see you and propose. We break it today. You are getting married soon. Every daughter in the house connected and you have challenges in that area, you are getting married soon. God will order the two of you to meet and there will be a witness in your spirit when the man comes up to say, this is the man. Wrong person will not come into your life. And I need to say to my daughters, it is better to marry well and marry late than to marry early and marry wrongly. All right? That a thing came late does not mean a denier. So you will marry. And then keep your character as well. Make sure you are nice, you are godly, you serve God, you keep yourself clean, and you don't allow anyone to soil your testimony. You zip up until the God-ordained man comes your way and the Spirit of God will bear witness with your spirit that this is the man. I speak to all the lives of singles, male and female. You will not marry wrongly. You will not marry another person's wife and another person's husband. It's going to be your God ordained. You will blend. You will gel. You will flow. You will be parent to your children. Run your great life, your career, your investment life, your ministerial calling. In the name of Jesus. Everyone old enough to marry. Hold your ring finger. This finger. Hold it like this. And you can hold it on behalf of your son. And on behalf of your daughter. If you have sons and daughters. Old enough to marry. But that aspect of their lives. Has not yet happened. Can you hold this finger. As if you are. Sliding a ring into it. 
is a prophetic action. I prophesy the man that will take you to the altar and slide engagement and wedding ring to your life will show up soon. We locate you soon. God will show you to him. The lady and the woman that will slide engagement and wedding ring to your fingers, you will see very soon. Young man, the two of you will meet, your path will cross, the Holy Ghost will bear witness, and it shall be happy marriage ever. Everyone concerned, say amen, amen, amen. Parents, pray for your daughter, pray for your son, old enough to marry, get a prophetic wedding ring, raise it up every day, call her name, call his name, and ask God to perform that wonder. And all singles, get a prophetic wedding ring and a prophetic wedding flower, raise it every day, and say, Lord, let your God-ordained man see me and come. See me and come. And if you are a young man, let my God-ordained wife open my eyes to see and let the witness of the Holy Ghost speak to me so that I will not have a wrong match in Jesus' name. All right. I can see amen, amen, everyone in that bracket. The Lord is answering your prayers and your testimonies will call in Jesus' name. All right. Parents, you have heard what I said. Pray for your sons and your daughters to marry well. They will not suffer what you suffered. They will get it right from the onset and they will be happy. They are your grandchildren that you will see grow up before you and you will be happy. Daddy, is it a crime or an abomination to live in my in-law's house Although my husband has left with another woman, I have a daughter for him, and I will be 54 years this August. He also has three girls with other ladies. What should I do? Wow. <laughs> Marita is you again. That was why the prayer we just prayed is a powerful prayer. That you will not have a mismatch. Can you see this crisis? Can you see this pain? A man you have a daughter for, left with another woman. You have a daughter for him, and then he also had three girls from other ladies. Can you see that kind of a man? Heartbreaks. So that is why I said, it is better to marry late and marry well than to marry early and marry the wrong person. Now, your question is, is the abomination to live in your in-laws house you have a daughter for that family but your husband had left you to start with it was not right it was not scriptural for you and your husband to live in his parents house he said for this purpose a man shall leave his father and his mother and join himself to his wife and cleave to his wife and they shall be one. So there must be living and cleaving. Maybe that was where even the problem, the foundation of your problem. When a young man takes a, a, a young woman and they are living in the in-law's house, that is not correct. The Bible says the man must leave his father and his mother, leave their house. A man that is not able to rent a decent accommodation for his new bride is not qualified to marry a man must have a, a good job a means of income at least to take care of his new bride so if after marriage you got to settle in your in-laws house problems will develop respect and honor is better from a distance whatever the case is uh, i don't know whether the parents are still alive I mean, your father and your mother-in-law uh, in whose house you live and what is their own attitude. Again, I want to ask, don't you have your own financial strength? This is why I say to women all the time, your best security is to have your own means, financial means, to have your own job, your own career, uh, to own your own financial life. 
Because if you own your financial life, then you are able to move out from where their son had left you, ran away, and you're going to have a decent accommodation for yourself and your daughter. Because things are never going to be the same again since the man you call your husband, who is their son, had left you in the parents' house with a daughter and he has gone with other ladies. You are not going to find it easy. Nobody needs to tell me that. I know that that will be something else. So I want to imagine the kind of embarrassment, the kind of humiliation, the kind of insult you must be passing through. So this is a lesson for everyone, especially ladies, especially daughters, especially wives. Make sure you own your financial life. We can't say that too much. Build your own career, build your own business, have your own means of income, in addition to whatever your husband may bring. And should there be issues like this, God forbid, then you are not left in disarray. So I am going to ask that if you have your own income, if you have your own money, it is better to move away and go and live your own life. Except if your in-laws are so kind, are so far fatherly and motherly, and they are saying, remain, our son is coming back. If that assurance is there, well, again, we also need to find out, are you the first wife? Are you the real wife? Are you the approved wife? Because you said other ladies. We don't know how many ladies are in his life. All these areas, uh, we cannot give adequate, uh, full counsel online. There will be need to sit down with a counselor, with a pastor, with an elder, and guide you. When you also know the other side of the story, we can hear the other side of the story from the man. So we are only hearing from you. And so we can have a balanced perspective of this situation. Whatever the case is, the Lord will see you through. The Lord will direct your path. And of course, the Lord will touch his own heart too. And things shall be right with you. In Jesus' name. Now, listeners, you can make your input. I will read it out to this member who has this issue. You can make your input. In addition to what I have just said, in the name of God, we have prayed today that no single person will marry wrongly. The best solution to a problem marriage is to marry the correct person. And people are not marrying correctly because of ignorance, because nobody taught them, they didn't know, they just taught, just marry. No, marriage is more than just marry. You got to be married to the right person. A married that will have problem later, the sickness will have been there. But if you don't know your left from your right, you will not know. You just got to marry and you got to know that you married the wrong person who never gave you joy, who never gave you peace, either male or female. So please, I've written a book on 30 things that a lady must watch out for or singles must watch out for in who they will say, yes, I will marry you in whom they will say, come and marry me. Very, very important. The best solution to a problem marriage is to get marriage right from the beginning. All right? Aha. Tejumade Lawa on Facebook. He said, marriage is very deep, sir. Yes, very, very deep. Very, very deep. It's not something we can adequately cancel online like this. It's very, very deep. But you are to marry your friend. Marry your friend. Apart from marrying a person from your faith, same faith, same doctrine, they marry your friend. Person with whom you gel, you flow, you are wired the same way. Not a person you argue with from morning to night. No. So, please obtain that book. 30 signals that singles must look for and watch out and understand before making a choice. And of course, the other marriage book also the marriage success secret we help everyone and anyone god bless you okay let's move further what is your take on someone that usually misses appointments and gives one excuse one excuse or the other <laughs> someone that usually missed appointment 
That's an affliction. Olatunde said, I think it's better, as you said, sir, to listen to the two sides of the story. Yes, it is difficult to hear from one person and make judgment. That view will not be balanced. So I wish we can hear from the other person. Peace, I'm not Marriage should be enjoyed, not endured. Very good. Please, you can make contribution. You can make contribution. Tejumadi said, absolutely, sir. It makes easier, sir, when you marry your friend. Marry your friend. All ladies, all singles, marry your friend. I have said a lot of things here today. It is better to marry late and marry well than to marry early only to find that you marry the wrong person. So, please pray. And I have asked parents to pray and pray prophetically for their sons and their daughters and all singles also. Okay, her requirement, Daddy. I wanted to get married to a lady who is a single mother. She said she was bad, but not anymore. I am. I'm not too. I'm not too okay with her past. I'm 46, and she's 29. Your advisor, 46 should not marry 29. That age gap is too wide. You are not socially equal. You are not from the same generation. Your language, your mental setting, your way of seeing things will be totally different. Your friends will be totally different. So don't get into trouble. And uh, he said he has a wrong life, a bad life, but it's now better. And she's 29 and you are 46. That is too wide, 17 years, it's too wide. Occasionally it works, but oftentimes when the gap is too wide, it doesn't work. Like I said, you do your mental focus, your understanding, your language, your way of saying things, because you belong to two different generations. Uh, so I will advise you to please uh, have patience and look more, all right? And wait and let the right person come with whom you can flow. Friendship is very important. Your faith is also very important. What people believe controls them. Don't marry across your religion and don't marry across your doctrine. These are truth of life that nobody should overlook or you will regret later. All right? Ola Yemi Olofin, Daddy, well done from Canada. God bless you on YouTube. Daddy, how do one help someone that says sorry at will but still repeat same thing sir <laughs> sorry at will but we still repeat, repeat the same thing that sorry is not deep that sorry was only sorry from the mouth not from the heart no remorse no repentance no serious no seriousness behind sorry so when sorry become mere slogan that is not deep and the same mistake is repeated then something is very very wrong and you are saying how do you help someone that person i hope this person is not your spouse as i always say if this person is not your spouse why don't you just face your own life and go on and if it's your younger brother or elder brother or any of your siblings then let them know the truth that your sorry is not deep there is no remorse behind it you still go on to do the same thing and you find it easy to say sorry sorry a thousand or so sorry will not change any any situation when you are truly sorry about a thing you watch out you don't repeat the thing you don't go back there but to only don't be saying sorry sorry Without seeing any change, it's a mockery. <coughs> it's a mockery of sorry. It's a mockery of apology. So don't just say sorry, sorry, without uh, changing. <coughs> Even with God, when there is a deep repentance leading to salvation, the person does not go on living in that sin he has repented of. The evidence that you repented is that you are not going back. To eat. But when you keep going back to it, 
Then where is the genuine repentance? So uh, the Lord will give you grace. To handle this person, you never told us who this person is in your life. You just say, how do one help someone? So it depends on who that someone is to you. So please, uh, all these things are very, very important so that you don't just keep finding yourself a problem. Please, you can make your own contributions before we pray. Make your own contributions before we pray. <laughs> we are all learning here. Make your own contributions as you get ready to pray. That God will take wrong people out of your life and bring good people to you. All of us need people around us. All of us need people around us, but they must be right person, and right people. So let wrong people live my life and let the right people join me in this journey of life. Life is a journey. And it's a journey that we cannot do alone. We need companion. Wife, husband, children, neighbors, friends, customers, clients, schoolmates, boss, workmate, career mate. We all need people around us. But we need good people and not wrong people. I prophesy to everyone's life today, wrong people will live your life. And God will surround you with good people. That will help you fulfill your vision and you also help them fulfill their calling in Jesus name all right Allah hear me or nothing say the story is not genuine ha that's exactly what I said the story is not genuine if the story is genuine the test is that he will not keep going back to it repentance before God is not genuine if the person keep going back to this whole thing he keep confessing and repenting from all right daddy what can be done to make my husband realize he's too stingy <laughs> stingy stingy husband with super glue in their hands where money enter he cannot go out husband with aradites in their hands where money gets in it sticks it doesn't go out hey you are calling your husband stingy now, like I've always said, we don't know this man. We can't hear from this man. But if he's truly stingy, he will have been stingy while we were dating. He will have been stingy while you are cutting. These are the things I refer to. That character is like pregnancy. It cannot be hidden for long. A stingy man will have been stingy from the onset. And you will have seen that and say, this stingy person, not be me, oh, <laughs> I'm backing out. And that will still be all right. Because this is an adult. And it is difficult to change an adult. Adults don't change, except by divine intervention of God. So, uh, you are going to pray. You be generous to him. At your own level, with your own power. And pray that God will touch his heart and change this character trait of stinginess. A woman should marry a man that can add value to her life. And I want all men to listen to me. Add value to your wife's life. That's why God gave her to you. To raise her. And to add value to her life. And wives also support your husband in his vision add value to each other's life don't be stingy to your wife <laughs> don't be stingy at your level at your capacity whatever will make her happy please do it i have said to you again and again men if you want to live long make your wife happy if you want to live long if you want your career to succeed if you want to thrive in business if you want to have peace in your home make your wife happy as much as you can i know that there are wives that are difficult to satisfy but as much as you can make her happy don't be stingy for the wife to call her husband stingy ah please 
Be generous to each other, and it's not only in money. Be generous with time. Be generous with other resources. Your, in fact, whatever a man owned, he co-own it with the wife. Whatever a wife has, they both have it. That's why it should be. That is what we saw with Adam and Eve, the first man and woman that God created. The Bible says they were together naked and they were not ashamed. They were transparent to each other. Remember when the serpent came, when serpent came into the garden, serpent met Eve, the wife and not the husband, and was able to deceive the woman to eat the forbidden fruit. But something is amazing there. When the man came and the woman related all that the serpent came to do, Adam did not say, ah, God told me we should not eat this forbidden fruit. You have gone to eat. I am not going to take part of it with you. You are going to face the music. No. The Bible says, and the man took the forbidden fruit that God warned him about or against. But because the wife had already eaten, he too ate. That's, that's a great message there. In other words, we we float or sink together. That is the life of the husband and wife together. You float or sink together. Adam did not reject because the wife had eaten. Even though God said to him, thou shalt not eat. But the woman had eaten. So let us be in it together. That's a message. So husband and wife, you are in it together. There is no need for stinginess. Whatever you have, you both have it and you are going to bequeath it on your children when your life is over. That is how it should be. There is no hiding of things to each other. There is nothing like laying claim. I own this car. I own this bed. I own this house. I own this. No. Whatever you have, you both have it. Whatever she has, you both have it. And of course, your children come into your inheritance. So I like us to pray for home. Homes are really aching. Many homes are really in pain. Things are not working. People are not bonding. Can you see how this story is coming? The other one, the man ran away, left the wife in his parents' house, and ran away with other ladies. Here, this one now. My husband is stingy. I like us to pray, whether you are married or not. If you are not yet married, you will soon marry. You will one day marry. And parents, pray for your children. Pray for yourself too. Even widows and widowers. Even grandpas and grandmas. As long as you have people around you, marriage happens to everyone. Marriage will happen to everyone. Whether you are married or you are or you will still marry. Lord, I pronounce my marriage blessed. Can you say that? Even your future marriage, call it my marriage. Singles, male and female, I pronounce my marriage, future marriage blessed. And those of you that are married, prophesy on your marriage now. Prophesy peace. Prophesy tranquility. Prophesy love. Prophesy oneness. Prophesy abundance. Prophesy help. Prophesy security. Prophesy protection over your home and over your children's home. Many of us have sons and daughters that are married. Speak to their marriages. Many of you have young ones that are still growing up. Speak to their future marriage. Lord, bless my home. Bless my marriage. Remove pain and crisis. Give us grace to blend and to move in the same direction. Are you praying? Are you praying? A woman that is not happy at home cannot be successful in the market. A man that is not uh, happy in his home will be miserable at work, will be miserable in, uh, in ministry and in any area. Lord, I pronounce your glory over my home, over my children, over my husband, over my wife. I pronounce your blessing. I pronounce understanding. I pronounce wisdom. I pronounce lift, uh, peace and serenity into my home, into my children's home, in my marriage. Are you praying? God will answer that prayer. And marriages that are in crisis now, somebody said that marriage is supposed to be enjoyed, not endured. Those of you that are just enduring it, God will intervene. You will start enjoying your marriage. I will enjoy my marriage. My children will enjoy their marriage. Oh, I will be satisfied with long life and with fulfillment. My marriage will be productive. Can you prophesy something good to your life? Prophesy something good. 
to your marriage, whether old marriage or new marriage and your children's marriage or your future marriage. Everyone, go to prayer now. Go to prayer now. Prophesy advancement. Prophesy peace. Prophesy understanding. Prophesy oneness. Prophesy unity. Prophesy divine speed into your marriage, into your children's marriage. Am I, are you talking? Are you praying? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right, peace said, I know that we, we are one, so there should be no division. Aha, I like you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, oh, I prophesy peace into my marriage and that of my children in Jesus' name. I say, Amen. If I see your prophecy and your prayer over your home and your children's life, I will say, Amen. I will join you. He said, If two of, two of us shall agree as touching anything that we may ask, it shall be done. Make a prophetic declaration over your home over your marriage whether you are married now or you married later prophesy it over your children's marriage prophesy it over your own marriage over your own home i decree peace i decree progress i decree oneness i decree unity i decree advancement into my marriage and my children's marriage pray very very wonderful if home is not happy the society will be in turmoil if the homes are not happy the society will be in turmoil. So, peace, tranquility, progress, power, oneness, understanding. I prophesy into every home connected in Jesus' name. Type Amen, Amen, and Amen, and share. Type Amen, Amen, and Amen, I share. Type Amen, Amen, and Amen to that prayer I just prayed for you, and share. Everybody keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing. Mary, O Jesus, Lord, Lord, I prophesy advancement, peace and joy unspeakable into my marriage and my children's home in the name of Jesus. Wonderful. I say amen. I say amen. I say amen. I say amen. Oh, I like Obialo Vivian on YouTube. What stop my parents will not stop me in Jesus' name. I say amen. That's a powerful prayer. What stop your parents will not stop you. I can see Momodu. So my marriage is blessed and peaceful. Yes, prophesy peace. Even if you are happy in your marriage now, if you are fulfilled in your marriage, prophesy more fulfillment. Prophesy more happiness. Nothing will go wrong with my marriage. Nothing will go wrong with my children's marriage. My marriage shall be peaceful and advancing and happy and fruitful. All that you know, prophesy on your marriage, whether you are married or you will still marry. And your children's homes. The Lord bless you as you do so. The Lord bless you as you do so. I see prayers going on. I'm saying amen, amen to it. I'm saying amen, amen to it. Financial breakthrough. Homes that are trusting God for babies. Your babies will come in the name of Jesus. Your babies will come in the name of Jesus. Homes that are trusting God for babies. Trusting God for financial breakthrough. Receive. Whatever may be lacking in your marriage now shall be oversupplied in the name of Jesus. Whatever is lacking now shall become surplus in the name of Jesus. Whatever is lacking in your home, in your marriage, in your children's marriage shall become oversupplied. Say amen, amen, and amen. This is another one. It's also on home. I hope you are typing your questions. If you have situations and questions you want me to answer, you want my counsel, and you want my prayer, type it out there. Go to your comment bar and type it. We will treat that on Monday. This live broadcast comes twice a week, Mondays and Fridays, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Whatever situation you type in today, we will treat on Monday. The ones we are treating today are the ones that came in before. Daddy, my husband said, I should resign from my place of work, that he will be paying me my monthly salary. Is this a wise thing to do? I want viewers to talk. You have listened to me again and again on issues like this. My husband said, I should resign from my work. That you will be paying me my monthly salary. Is this a wise thing to do? Help me, help me. 
you have listened to me on turning point daily you have listened to me on this live broadcast you have listened to me on prayer mountain you have listened to me on sunday you have listened to me on various platforms especially as touching this issue what is your own cancer for this person all right i'm trying to see what is any, if anybody is talking along this line aha peace energy no i disagree with this that is from peace i want more people to respond i want more people to respond i want more people to respond all right we have left praying for marriage now we are talking of another one please respond and let us learn from each other but aha somebody is saying i receive my twins okay on tiktok allow should know it is not sir it won't last for long i am a victim of such aha from tiktok allow show yalaju Mirenike, God bless you. He's giving personal direct experience. No, it is not. It won't last long. I am a victim of such. Wow. Wow. The husband is saying, resign from your work. I'll be paying you your monthly salary. He said, what should I do? <laughs> hey, okay. On YouTube. No, please. Don't try it all. <laughs> Do Kwefawale. No, it is not wise at all. If there is any eventual eventuality, she will regret this action. That is from Dukwe Fawale. God bless you. Well, let me add my own. I have spoken against this again and again. If any man says, I don't want you to walk. I will be funding the home. I'll be paying your salary. Is postponing your evil days in front. Is is setting you up for heartbreak. Is helping you up for a domineering life for slavery. I wish I have some other powerful words. No. You went to school. You learned a trade. You have a career. Why must you just? be crippled at home and i've said this before let me say it again men can change at any time men can change at any time and even if they don't change somebody have said in case of eventuality what of death are there not widows somebody i just said i'm a widow here tonight we never prayed for anybody but in life sometimes what we pray against we see happen what we don't pray for, we see happen. What will happen? Suppose the man is still making money, even remove death. Suppose he lost his job. Suppose the business run into problem. Don't you see that every day? It is not wise. I have said here today that the best security for a woman is to own her financial life. Even if your husband is Warren Buffet, if your husband owns the whole money, you must still have your own means of income own your own life own your own career it may still be within the setting of the family business and the family enterprise but you must own your own and have access to spend money even in the absence of your husband that is the correct way to look at it mary said the decision is so suicidal aha see the word it's so suicidal please don't try it my sister <laughs> Blessing, Wankaku, Akaya. No, it is not good. Will he give you your pension? <laughs> wow. Esther Diabolo, the moment you stop working and you are now a dependent, automatically you will lose your respect and value from him. These are women talking to women. Lizzie Enahoro, he may start it, but he can't continue. You shouldn't try it. Ah. You have enough everybody you have enough and uh, on uh, youtube aha and on uh, is uh instagram and okay and on tiktok look at all the cancels everybody say no 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 
It's a no, no. Nobody is saying yes. It's a no, no. So all women, make sure you have your own means of income. It may be within the ministry, within the setting, but you must have access, direct access and help. So, everybody, get busy and own your own income. It is safer, it is better. All right, oh, our time is going, let's take more. Daddy, what is the difference between being healed and permanent healing? So we are going to pray for healing here. We are going to pray for good health here. What is the difference between being healed and permanent healing? He said, I am the Lord God that brought you out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord that healed thee. The word healed is present continuous. I am the Lord that healed you. I am the Lord that will heal you. I am the Lord that is healing you. Now, there is a difference between divine health and divine healing. Divine healing is when you are sick and by God's divine intervention, either directly or through medically assisted care, you get healed. It is divine healing. God's hand healing you, sometimes without any medical aid. The sickness disappears, you are healed. Sometimes with medical assistance, you are healed. It is still God. But divine health is a state of not being sick. And that is a product of many things. A product of grace and a product of strict adherence and compliance with health principles. Your diet, your hydration, your physical exercise, your rest, and understanding your body language. So many things tied to it. We have taught this again and again. I have written book on this. A new book is also coming up on healing and health. You can live a healthy life to a good old age if you will comply with all the health principles both in the scripture. Genesis 1.29 God gave us recipe of our consumption of what to eat. He said herbs and leaves and roots and fruits organic food not processed food not chemical food organic and then water hydrate yourself three liters of water per day throughout sip it your kidney your liver your womb, everything must be swimming in water and then rest and then physical exercise the mind what you eat, mind when you eat it, mind decides the, the type, the size, the time of your food. The type, the size, the time. Google and you will see a lot of information on how to eat healthy and uh, all the health principles you should follow. They are all in the Bible. It's a physical exercise, profit a little. And little is much when God is in it. And then rest, when your body is calling for rest. The body act like uh, a rubber band. I've said, I've, I've demonstrated that to you many times. This is a rubber band, very elastic. But there is elastic limit of rubber band. If I put this rubber band beyond limit, what happened? It will snap. So if you put your body under tension beyond limit, it will snap. So, and then forgiveness. And then prayer for the grace of God. I speak to, please lay your hand on your body. Let's prophet, be your own prophet now. Prophet to your system. Say, I receive divine health. You can live in health without needing to run around for healing. And if you are sick now, ask for divine healing. If you are not sick, ask for sustained health. Lord, I receive sustained health in my spirit, soul, and body. I receive healing to my body. Everybody prophesy to your body. Prophesy to your body. Prophesy divine health, a state of not being sick. Prophesy divine healing, a state of getting healed with the sickness. What is the name? What name has doctor called it? Jesus is a healer. Begin to say, my healer, heal my body. Oh yes, the, uh, uh, the chief physician, heal my body. The greatest physician, heal me. Lord, give me good health to my good old age. My body, receive the hand of God. Receive the touch of God. Tomorrow is communion. 
So everybody get ready for communion tomorrow morning and prophesy health, prophesy long life, prophesy divine health, prophesy healing as you take the communion tomorrow. Now prophesy to your own physical body. My body receive the divine touch of God. Be healthy, be strong for my lifetime. My body be healthy, be strong for my lifetime. I will serve God in good health. I will serve God uh, in prosperity and in power. Speak to your life. And I will say amen. Ashley, Eric saying, I receive healing in my body. I say amen. Elizabeth, I receive divine healing. I say amen. You are going to see healing now. Sicknesses will be disappearing from your body. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Receive divine healing. A rejuvenation. I command sicknesses and diseases to run out of your body. The Bible says the stranger will panic and run out of their hiding places. I speak to your life as you lay hand on your body. Everybody lay hand, touch your body as I speak to your body. I speak to your body system. Receive divine touch. Receive total healing. Doctors have done their best. God will do the rest. Oh, you are healed. I say again, you are healed. The nail pierced hand of Jesus is laid on your hand for your total healing. Rise up and be healed. Rise up and be doing what you couldn't do before. Whatever damaged part of your system, God will put a replacement. God will change the spare part of your body. Everything will function normally. Receive healing in your kidney, in your liver, in your heart, in your womb, in your bones, in your blood, in your joint, from head to toe. Every system in your body, all the systems in your body system, receive total healing. In Jesus' name. If you have your water there, bring it out. Let me speak to the water. If you have your anointing oil bottle, bring it out. If you have your mantle, bring it out. If you have a piece of bread or cake, bring it out. As I prophesy on them, eat them by faith. Drink that water by faith. And tomorrow morning, partake in the communion by faith. I bless all these elements in your hand. The water is blessed. The oil is blessed. Your mantle is blessed. The piece of cake or meat or biscuit or bread, whatever you are using, there are fruits in your hand, is blessed. As you eat, receive your healing. Your body will last you a lifetime. 120 years is your minimum. You will live in health, in peace, in power. You will be fulfilled in all areas. In Jesus' name. Everybody type amen, 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 and share. 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 Type, I am healed. I am healed. Confess your healing. I am healed. Confess your healing. I am healed. I am healed three times and share. Confess your healing. Faith is the substance of things so far, evidence of things not seen. He said, what I hear you say in my ears, that will I do. Say, I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. Everybody type that one three times. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. By faith, take your healing. By faith, receive your healing. By faith, receive your healing. By faith, receive your healing. God bless you. Oh, are you blessed tonight? Are you blessed? We've done one hour, four minutes. Are you blessed? Let that blessing remain with you. In Jesus' name. You wake up tomorrow morning totally healed. And those of you listening to me in the daytime, when you sleep, when it is night in your own part of the world, you will wake up totally healed in the name of Jesus. Everyone connected, you are blessed. Please keep rebroadcasting this long after we are off air. Keep rebroadcasting it. Watch again and again. Scroll back to the previous edition. Watch. Receive the cancer. Pray the prayers. If you have any issue bothering your mind, please type it in the comment bar and send. Any situation you want me to cancel and pray about, type it in the comment bar and send it. Uh, the Lord bless you. The Lord lift you. Every one of you connecting today and connecting later, the power of God will rest on you. The problem God has solved will not come again. The healing God has given you will be sustained. Peaceful home, wonderful children, great business, in these days of financial downturn, economic downturn, hyperinflation, all over, you will be exempted. The Lord will open a new channel for you. 
bless what you are doing, give you joy, heal your aching hearts, and establish you, you in his righteousness. You are blessed. TPJ family all over the world, you are blessed and truly blessed. Everyone connecting for the first time today, be connecting every Monday and Friday at this time and invite more people. Join our YouTube page. Go to your YouTube and type at the real family manual. Subscribe and turn on notification. YouTube at the real family manual. If you've not already done that, do that now. Do that now. As soon as I'm off the air, go to your YouTube platform and type YouTube at the real family manual. Subscribe and share so that anytime we are on, we'll be notified. Please do that for us. The Lord bless you and lift you. Increase on our side as we step out of August tomorrow and step into September. It shall be your September to remember. God will do memorable, heroic things for you in September. Your family, you will remember forever for good in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I love you. I love you. Okay. Ah, this annual, they say, we can't wait for Thursday with our cup. Yeah, Thursday prayer mountain. We need to bring a cup. Are we okay? Get a cup. Get a cup to the prayer mountain service, even if you are watching online. We are going to lift up our cup. It says, my cup runs over. Thou anointed my head with oil, and my cup runs over. Bring empty cup. We are going to raise it as a prophetic action and say, Lord, fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up. Fill my cup. Fill my life to overflowing. It is impartation for surplus supplies. Thursday, prayer mountain, 7 to 9 a.m. and 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you for reminding me. All right. Every one of you, you are blessed. Well, it is time for me to also go and lay my back and rest. My, my duty is back to back, bumper to bumper. <laughs> I do bumper to bumper work every day. But thank God for health. God has kept me healthy. What I share with you is what I also practice. Hydration, physical exercise. I eat diet uh, void of... Uh, chemicals as much as I can. I don't take soda. I leave what will give health to my body and I give myself peace of mind. God bless you and God bless you and God bless you in Jesus' name. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube and turn on notification. Do that now. I want to see the YouTube grow and grow and grow in Jesus' name. All right, it's time to go. God bless you. It's time to go. God bless you. It's time to go. God bless you. And bless you.